Open Table is an awesome organization. Um, it is a Christian organization, um, but what we do is we once a month host a free meal for students and young adults. Um, and so uh, obviously because we're in a pandemic right now, we're unable to meet where we normally meet, which is at Center 454 in the basement of St. Albans Church, uh, which is how uh, Juliana and I know each other. I actually also work at the church with the children and youth. So that's kind of how I'm acquainted with this entire organization. And since we can meet in the basement of Center 454, which is where we have all the tables and the, the space to uh, serve the food, Food, which is donated by different churches in Ottawa. Um, we actually, starting tomorrow, once a month for a little while until things are safe again, we're going to be handing out free food boxes. Um, so if any of you are free, it'd be awesome to meet you. Of course, we'll have masks on to safely practice social distancing, uh, but I'll be there at 5 p.m. in front of St. Albans Church on the corner of King Edward and Daly, and we're going to be just handing out free food. Uh, the point of the organization is radical hospitality, is just loving people the way that we believe Jesus loves people, and um, it's very inclusive in the way that we don't cater to a certain group. It's for everybody and anyone who just wants free food and to just get to be a part of a cool community. Um, even if you're just coming, grabbing food and going, like we just want to bless people. So that's kind of like a long story short. I don't know, Julianne, if you think I'm missing any details about Open Table, but um, of course we can't do what we do unless people come and, and get fed. And uh, we're working with a catering company that's it's sanitary, very clean. Um, they'll be packing, them up, packing up the boxes and then uh, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So if you're free at five, come to King Edward and Daly. You'll get a free box meal. You can come hang out with some cool people um and yeah hopefully in the future we'll be able to gather in the space again and it's just always such a good time getting to know different people's stories practicing gratefulness um getting into the mindset of gratitude uh, a lot of people come in and they go why are you giving free food away like who does that and it's like well we just want to represent what we believe to be true and just want to bless people and i think just cultivating that kind of environment is so important um but yeah, it's uh, it's so it's cool what we get to do, and if anyone's interested in uh, getting involved, whether volunteering, being a part of it, liking us on Facebook, spreading the word, um, yeah, our next meal is tomorrow. So if you can come by, that'd be awesome. And Julianne, if you have anything else you want to add that maybe yeah. I forgot, then please feel free. I guess um, like one thing that I really love about Open Table is that at the root of it, it's just radical hospitality. When I was doing it, I did meals on Queen, or on uh, Carlton's campus during exam time. And so that was a complete different format that also existed. And so I think depending on what, like the, the root of it is to give free food away to students who are needing food and not expecting anything in return. And I think that's a really um, neat concept that exists that I wish, um, existed elsewhere. I know that there was a comment that was made about Alberta and I guess uh, the question that I have for you about it is um, in terms of the partners that exist, like what are those partnerships like in order to be able to make something like this happen? So there is consistent communication that happens with the church congregations in Ottawa. Um, usually under the Anglican Diocese, it's usually like Ang Anglican, Presbyterian, there's like specific churches that usually like to get involved with this sort of thing. Um, and then we have congregational partners who give a certain amount of money each month towards Open Table, which pays me a little bit a month to run the meals and do stuff, but also it goes into towards making the meals. Um, so it was nice when we were doing it out of Center 454 because churches would show up with their volunteers with a bunch of homemade food. It's like eating at grandma's house, you know, like just like all the best food. Um, and then we'd eat together and they'd get to not promo their church, but just say, hey, we're from this church and you're eating the food of these people here. Um, so hopefully that answers the question. Right now it's kind of awkward with, <laughs> with this pandemic. Like I haven't been in contact with the churches, but like this is my third year in the role. And this year I told them because I'm in, I'm in, in the process of becoming a teacher at the end of this year, um, I won't have time to do the administrative part of things, but they hired somebody else to do that part. So um, hopefully we'll figure out what's happening with that soon. But I think it's the same idea, churches being a part of it and giving a little bit, whether they're contributing through finances so with money or with food um there's like a wide array of 
opportunities for people and churches to donate to this sort of thing. So yeah, and I think um, like one of the things that stood out to me when I was doing it at Carleton was that it's not just uh, churches that are interested in doing it. Like there's local organizations. I think there was a women's ski group that ended up coming onto campus once and gave away meals. So it's a really a matter of reaching out to those different communities, explaining the importance of radical hospitality, and being able to. Uh, get those partners to like first of all figure out the schedule of organizing that uh, but then the execution of like making it happen so the fact that it's coming back I think that's huge and um, like it's not the same format as what it was but the fact that it's you know feeding students and still being able to make it happen I think that's huge so 100% you on that. Yeah, yeah definitely and just like I'll conclude by saying like also it taught me a lot about like food insecurity and like how there are some people who actually can't afford to eat every night because they're too busy paying for school or they're too busy paying to live downtown because it's so expensive and like there's so many stories out there that I've heard and of course while it's only once a month that's for now the best we can do hopefully more people can adopt this model of radical hospitality if they're living in a place of abundance and they have something that they can give out to share because there are a lot of people suffering and suffering in silence unfortunately and so with initiatives like this it, it we kind of try to remove the stigma like yo it's a free meal i want free food too i'm gonna be eating i'm hosting it I, i'm okay i'm comfortable i'm still gonna eat but just oh you guys saw my cat <laughs> princess princess endorses open table <laughs> <laughs> the mascot yeah I, yeah so i'll just wrap up by saying you guys are all invited um come get some food tomorrow 5 p.m king edward and daily whether you come by and stay for a few minutes or just come by grab your food and go it'd be cool to meet you guys um and in the future if you're interested in this sort of thing just like follow us just like us on um Facebook, The Open Table. You'll see our little blue and white logo. And uh, yeah, you can follow up on what we're doing. And if any of you have questions on maybe how to start an initiative like this within your own region, my own city, whether Alberta, Kingston, this is a really cool thing. And uh, I feel like more places should be doing it. So thank you for having me. <laughs>